Hello to everyone and this is Inrik and KU. In this Mastering Ladder Safety, a comprehensive tutorial series of videos, we will cover each of the ANSI standards mentioned below in detail. You will learn about the guidelines for the safe use of different types of ladders, including portable wood ladders, portable metal ladders, fixed ladders, job-made wooden ladders, and portable reinforced plastic ladders. Each video will provide a comprehensive overview of the standard, covering topics such as ladder design, construction, testing, labeling, load capacity, length, angle, stability, climbing, and electrical hazards. According to ANSI guidelines, the following questions mostly asked for the wooden ladder which materials kind of material is selected for a ladder? How rungs should be separated? What is the minimum space for rails? And many more questions related to the wooden ladder. What is ANSI A14.1? ANSI A14.1 is a safety standard developed by the American National Standards Institute, ANSI, that provides guidelines for the design, construction, testing, labeling, and safe use of portable wood ladders, including step ladders, extension ladders, trestle ladders, and their accessories. The standard is intended to promote ladder safety and reduce the risk of accidents and injuries associated with ladder use. Q2. What are key safety points of according to ANSI A14.1? 1. Material. Ladders should be made of materials suitable for the intended use and environment. Wood ladders should be made of clear straight-grained lumber without knots, shakes, or other defects that may affect strength. 2. Rungs. Rungs should be evenly spaced and parallel, with a uniform diameter and a minimum width of 1 inch. Rungs should be free of sharp edges or projections that may cause injury or discomfort. 3. Rails. Rails should be straight and parallel, with a minimum width of 2 inches for single section ladders and 1.75 inches for multi section ladders. Rails should be free of knots, splits, or other defects that may affect strength. 4. Spreaders. Spreaders should be securely attached to the ladder rails and should be free of damage or distortion that may affect their function. 5. Shoes slash feet. Shoes should be slip resistant and securely attached to the ladder rails to prevent accidental movement or slipping. 6. Labeling. Ladders should be labeled with the manufacturer's name, model number, rated load capacity, and the ANSI standard to which they conform. 7. Load Capacity Ladders should be designed and tested to support a specific load capacity, which should be clearly labeled on the ladder. Users should not exceed the rated load capacity. 8. Length Ladders should be long enough to reach the intended working surface with a minimum overlap of 3 feet for extension ladders. 9. Angle. Ladders should be set up at a 75 degree angle to the ground, with the base of the ladder positioned one quarter of the working length of the ladder away from the wall or other vertical surface. 10. Stability. Ladders should be used on a stable surface, with the ladder feet positioned on a firm, level surface. Ladders should not be placed on boxes, barrels, or other unstable objects. 11. Climbing. Users should face the ladder when climbing up or down and should maintain three points of contact with the ladder at all times. Users should not stand on the top two rungs of the ladder. 12. 
Electrical hazards, wood ladders should not be used near electrical equipment unless they are equipped with non-conductive side rails or other safety features. Following the guidelines provided by ANSIA 14.1 can help ensure that wood ladders are constructed, used, inspected, and maintained in a safe and effective manner. It is important to regularly inspect ladders for damage or defects and to follow the manufacturer's instructions for proper use and maintenance. Users should also receive training on ladder safety and be aware of the hazards associated with ladder use. In upcoming Part 2, we shall address the ANSIA 14.2 Portable Metal Ladders. The Mastering the Ladder Safety series is divided into four parts and each part of the series will cover a specific ANSI standard and provide detailed guidelines on how to use ladders safely and effectively. By the end of the series, viewers will have a comprehensive understanding of ladder safety and be able to apply the knowledge to their work or personal life. Stay tuned at my YouTube channel The Inrican. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can ask more questions related to OHS field or suggest topics for next videos. One request to all kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel The Inner Can for more exciting videos.